Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got something interesting. So right next to me here, we have a $7,000 mystery box and $130 mystery boxes from Sneaker Flea. Now, Sneaker Flea is doing these $130 mystery boxes that guarantee two ASSC t-shirts plus a chance at a golden ticket inside that gives you a chance to win a secret like a Red October, a Chunky Dunky, some Travis Scott. I'm gonna be linking those down below because there's only 99 being made and 24 of those have a prize, but let me explain. Now, I know this sounds too good to be true. A Essentially how it works, they're selling these mystery box for $130 and you're guaranteed to get two ASSC shirts, which is about $80 to $90 each. So you're guaranteed to get that value out of it. That's the price that they sell them for. But in 24 out of the 99 boxes, they're going to be giving like special things away. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true, but essentially they're doing this because they want to grow their store's brand and they want to grow their name. It's a sneaker store that's actually a storefront in New York. I've been there a couple times called Sneaker Fleet. Essentially, I'm going to open these up and show you kind of how it works. Now, this is an example of what you're going to get. It's going to be a manila envelope probably like this you open it up and inside you got two ASS t-shirts this one doesn't have a golden ticket so if I pull this out right here you can see oh this one does have a golden ticket as you can see right there that's how it works Wonka golden ticket and this one if you did get this you would get Nike Air Yeezy Red October now each golden ticket that's put out has a code on the back you have to call the store give them the code and they'll send you the items now this is a legit store they sell legit sneakers there's nothing fake about it this is just a way like I said for them to grow their store so like I said included is an ASSC shirt in there and then there's another one right here this is like a paranoid tee so between those you can get your value back but you get the chance of winning one of these. Now, there are 99 boxes total for sale, but after the 99, they're gonna go ahead and do 99 more and add more golden tickets. So the odds are kind of there. So they're literally, they're trying to give back to the community and just find a way to grow their social media platforms and their store. So here's another one, we'll pull this out. You got two ASSC shirts, one right there, one right here. And this one doesn't have the golden ticket, so this would be a scenario where you get this, you're still getting your value, but you had that chance of winning something big. Just showing you guys examples of how it would be. Obviously, this is not like the actual ticket. I'm not winning the Red Octobers. This is to show you guys how it's gonna work. Pull these out, we got two, oh dang, we got an orange one. Pull this out, look at that. We got the golden ticket for a $7,000 mystery box, which we have right here, which I'm gonna be unboxing. Now, the reason we're doing the seven that was our mystery box because they hit me up and they said I want to do a video promoting this mystery box letting your fans know about it because we're trying to grow our store what can we do and I said let's go ahead and do a seven thousand dollar mystery box that I open for me and in exchange show you guys how the mystery boxes work so this is the other ASSC shirt right here as you can see a bunch of ASSC stuff but really good opportunity for you guys to win something more than that now like I'm saying not everyone's gonna have a red October not everyone's gonna have a mystery box not all of them have the chunky donkeys but there is that chance there and you're still getting your money from 130 dollars out of it. So I think it's time now we go ahead and open this up. Again, there'll be a link down in the description. There are 99 boxes and if those sell out, they're going to do more like I said. So go ahead and check that out in the link down below. Again, guys, I've vetted this stuff. I don't put out stuff like the online mystery box websites get hit up by them by all the time. It is not a scam like that. To me, it makes sense. I vetted it. I'm not going to promote anything. You guys are going to get scammed. And it's 99 boxes. Get an ASSC shirts. Go check it out down below if you want to. 99 boxes might sell out fast, but go ahead. Let's open this thing. Alright guys, so we're gonna open this mystery box up, $7,000. I'm excited to see what they got. I've been in this store, but I don't know what we got in here, and I don't know if they know what I have. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm excited to see what we have, 7K. And this could be your guys. You literally could win this. So first thing I'm seeing, we got some more of these mystery boxes. So I guess I'm gonna show you guys more of what you would get. Another mystery box right here, we'll pull this out. And we got two more ASSC tees, and this one, Nike Chunky Dunky Golden Ticket on it. That's actually a pretty cool ASSC shirt. And then we got one here, this bad boy out. See if this one has any of the golden tickets. Pull it out. Nope, regular box. RSVP gallery tee and an ASSC shirt. It's the same we had over there. Stacks of ASSC shirts. So first thing we see, we got a nice little air fear of God. I wonder which ones. This box looks a little, looks a, maybe it looks a little different. I just got rid of my tan ones. I had the all tans, but the, I wonder if this is the all black pair. I've had like the original black pair, but let's see. We'll pull these out real quick. Of course, you got the classic wrapping here, the crazy metallic. Ooh, this is the light bone colorway. I don't think this is the same one I had. I think I had a lighter version. I think there's two, but this is the, the kind of light bone-ish colorway, dead stock, air fear of gods. So pull out the other pair. You guys know that this is a really cool shoe. It comes with the uh, Nike air fear of God bag right here. I guess you could carry them in if you're gonna play basketball, whatever. Comes with the extra laces, obviously. We'll pull this out. The materials on this shoe are just amazing. That's what I love about the air fear of gods. 
Jerry Lorenzo knows how to structure a shoe and he knows the materials. That's why the retail is higher. I'm not sure how much these are going for. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. These have been going for like double, like 600 bucks, I feel like. Nothing too crazy. That retail is really high. So I'm gonna add some of these to the shelf over here so you can see it. First pair up, put them on the shelf. Nike Air Fear Gods. And let's keep moving and see what we got. I see it looks like a Sakai box. Ooh, that might be an OG Yeezy box. If that is an OG Yeezy Turtle Dove, I'm gonna free it because I've been wanting one for so long. All right, let's go ahead, let's see. We got a Sakai box right here, size five and a half. This is a little base size, Summit white. I think this is an all white pair. Oh no, it is the gray pair. I actually haven't had this one yet. My girl would probably like to wear these. I might try to see if she wants these. It's a gray colorway. They just came out with an all crispy white. This one will probably be a little bit better in my opinion because it's not gonna get like super dirty. The Sakai's are cool. She's a really good summer shoe because it's very breathable. Looks good with shorts. Throw on a nice little high Nike sock. I can't put these on, but I feel like they would look cool. Good base size there though. My girl, she can get some wear out of this. Hopefully, we'll see. I'll put on a shot if she wants to, if she likes them and wears them. All right, I'm gonna swing around front here. Let me get my knife out of the way. See like an older Jordan box. I wanna go for that Yeezy, but I'm gonna wait. Ooh, a human race. Ooh, this is an older one. You guys know we got ooh my size ten and a half human race. Is this? I wonder if this is an OG color because the original like the green, orange, whatever. Those are like going crazy in price. Let's see. Ooh, oh my. Whoa. <laughs> this is probably the most expensive one that you can get. If they're dead stock. Oh. The OG Human Races in yellow. That is like the most expensive OG colorway pair. The Human Races you can get now are a little bit cheaper, but the, I don't know if I could undead stock these. Check that out. You guys know my buddy Haas loves Human Races. I'm gonna have to see if he wants these. That's crazy. Let me see how much you're going for. All right, a yellow size. Well, these prices are all over. A size 10 and a half you can buy for 1400 right now. Last sale, 1281 Maybe they're not the most expensive. I thought those were like 2500 bucks. They, I, some of them I feel like are the smaller sizes, but that's a crazy shoe. Those are 1400 bucks. I know these are super comfortable. I've had human races before. I think I've had a pair of the OGs that I've worn. I think so. I think I had a black pair. I got in a mystery box well, but... I have not actually had this specific one, so I'm excited. This will look cool next to SpongeBob up there. We're looking solid. Ugh, the Sakai is size five and a half. I wonder if that's like a rarer size. We're gonna have a tally marker up on the screen so you guys can see. All right, Summit White, size five and a half, 630 bucks. That's StockX prices, which sometimes vary. Those are called the Oatmeal. They go for about 550. That's exactly what I thought. So there's a sale. Actually, no, that is the sale one. Yeah, I thought there's another one called the Oatmeal. This is the sale one. That size is going for about 680 bucks, so a little bit more than I thought. Let's keep going. We got a Jordan one box. Looks like we have a Nike off-white box. Ah, I wonder what Jordan 1 this is. Put out a Jordan 1 that I really want and would love to have, but actually I don't think it would be in here. It'd be too expensive. It would be one of the uh, Art Basel Jordan 1s. They're like teal to pink. I don't think that's what it's gonna be. Let's see what we have. Actually, I'm gonna let Nick see what these are, see if he likes them. See, let you guys see it first. I'm gonna pull this off and let's see. Can you see it? Is it fire? Mm, check them out. He said check them out. Let's see. Oh, this is a nice little classic one. This is part of the like suede pack. We have a size nine. This is the Summit White Clay. Nick wasn't too excited about it. Mm -hmm. He did, probably doesn't know much about these, but this is one part of the pack. There is a blue pair, there's a red pair, there's a green pair, and I believe a yellow pair. There's a couple different colors. They're clean though. The way that they have the colors set up, I like them personally, because I like the suede there, as you guys can see. And this is a cool little green colorway. Good for like St. Patrick's Day. These I don't think are going crazy, but still a clean Jordan 1 nonetheless. All right, clay green, size nine. Actually, these, dang, these went up. Size nine, 540 bucks. Uh, these were going for like 250 at one point. All the, maybe it was a different colorway, but I'm surprised these went up. Let's go ahead, put these to the side, and I guess we'll throw them up here. I keep taking shoes down. All right, so that's one, two, three, four sneakers, and it looks like, dang, that OG Yeezy box looks kind of small. It looks like we have regular Yeezy. We pull out this Jordan one here. Man, I hope that's my size. It's an OG Turtle Dove my size, man. All right, let's see. We have size 13. Ooh, is this a Dornbecker? Ooh, bigger size, but this is a Dornbecker Jordan 4. You guys don't know about the Dornbecker series. There's great messages behind everyone. Dornbeckers are essentially sneakers that are created by young hospital patients at the Dornbecker Hospital. They're a great message. I love getting pairs of these in. This is my first one of a Jordan 4. I've had the up tempos. I've had a couple different pairs. These, 
I feel like these are one of the craziest pairs. I feel, I think these go for like two grand. Go ahead and pull these out. You can see the nice yellowing on the outsole there just because it's a little bit of an older Jordan, obviously, but this is a dead stock pair. If you guys don't know, that's what naturally happens with Jordans on certain soles because it's the type of sole that they are, how old they are. Now this one is from 2011. So this is a nine year old sneaker. Let's go ahead and see size 13. It's usually a little bit of the less expensive size, but we'll go ahead and pull up dead stock pair. All right, the Jordan. Jordan 4 Dornbecker. Okay. So there's not even a size 13 up. Last sale on the 13, 1550. Let's see if there's any other sales. 1700, 1300. There's a couple big sales up there. Now, the most expensive, the lowest one you could buy right now is $1,800. The size 12, 3500. Size 10, 3300. So this shoe is going for a good chunk of money. And that's pretty sick. Dead stock pair right there in a size 13. Put these up next to Dennis Rodman. We'll put Rodman up there. All right. We got three left and they're all tan boxes. Check that out. Looks like we got a newer year. Yeezy, an older Yeezy, and I'm gonna open that older Yeezy now because I feel like it might not be my size. Ah, I remember this box so well. Yep, size six and a half. Let's see what these are. Ooh, this was my most expensive sneaker that I first ever bought. And oh, I spent a lot of money, I spent $800 on them. It was so much money back then, I shouldn't have done it, but I wanted this shoe so bad. And that is the Oxford Tan Yeezy 350. This is the OG 350, we have no paper in there, but these, I feel like these have to go back up in value soon. It's like six and a half, definitely smaller. Look at that box, if you guys seen the new ones, it says like 350 on the top, it says boost on the sides. This is the OG. Deciphering fake Yeezys back in the day was a lot easier than it is now. Back in the day, all you had to do was pull out this insole really and check it and make sure that it looked a certain way. And now they're like, the fakes are way too good. You used to check like these boxes here, the lines back here. Dang, uh, this brings back memories, man. I love, that was my favorite shoe. Nick knows I beat mine into the ground. Dang, these are crazy. Cause the bottoms, they're painted and they would kind of wear and crack. Luckily, this one doesn't have any cracking. So that's good. 2015 is five years ago these were coming out. I love this silhouette. I need an OG pair. If you have an OG pair of size 11 Yeezys of the Turtle Doves, hit me up. Give me a fair price, please. I'll take a dead stock pair. All right, should we go? Let's go for the Yeezy to kind of do it, and then we'll pull out the off-white. I'm not gonna look at what off-white it is. I'm gonna pull it out. Actually, I'm gonna let you guys look. Nick, is that a solid one? It's not too bad. Not too bad. Nick ain't, Nick, he's like, nah, it ain't no Jordan 1. I don't, don't, don't want to ruin the surprise. I don't want to, yeah. I mean, you could scream if it's a, uh, a Jordan 1. Ooh, we have an OG pair of Belugas. Dang, I just got a pair of Belugas again. Check those out up there. Those ones are a size 11 and a half. This is a dead stock pair. This looks bigger though, I feel like. This is the first iteration of the Yeezy V2, this colorway. And this is the one that's going kind of the most crazy. Some, there's some other colorways going more, but this is like one of the OG size 13 a little bit bigger but the Belugas are OG I love the colorway you guys know I love gray and orange to say it every video and that matches my car which is kind of fire but dead stock let's check this out size 13 size 13 1100 dollars right now last sale was 680 so it kind of varies around but you can't buy them for less brand new for 1100 solid pair right there I know Nick wants a pair of these he loves his v2s you can check he's wearing them right now look told you <laughs> I got my I got my Royals on. I'm gonna put these up next to the other ones, just like this. I'm gonna crush them. Is that gonna make you guys cringe? All right, last one is going to be a pair of off whites. Now let's go ahead and see what we have. It is a ooh, Nick, these are fire. What do you mean? We have a pair of the Grim Reaper Nike Blazer off white. Right here, I have the All Hallows Eve. These two came together as a pack around Halloween time. I've had these, but I never wore them. For some reason, the all black looked kind of like a wrestling shoe on my foot. It didn't like flow with my foot for some reason, but I like the orange on this one just kind of pops in my opinion. But when you have the blue laces on here, I think it looks more fire. Blue laces, I mean the white laces, because it kind of, the whole shoe like kind of flows together. Whereas if you have the white laces, it kind of break it up. I think it looks good, but the, the blazer, you guys already know. I wear the blazer every day. This is like an amazing sneaker. All right, let's pull them all on the table. guys so there is the lineup we had eight sneakers there seven thousand dollars total you guys could get something like that just like i just got this mystery box 
off of just buying one of the $130 boxes. Again, they want to make it fair to where if you're buying a box, you're still going to get your value out of it. They don't want to just have you do a raffle for $130. I typically don't do anything like raffles because the odds are not good. I'd rather either give it away or do away like this where you're getting two items worth the mystery box, plus you might get something extra. So check that out in the link down below. Shout out again to Sneaker Fleet for making that happen. I'm excited to see how this goes, how many of you guys do because at the 99 sell, they're going to add more, 99 more, and they're going to do it again if it sells again. So we'll see how many of these sell, but Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.